what's going on YouTube wanted to make a video to uh, help you synchronize your uh, tuner studios to your vehicle uh, timing uh, this question comes up a lot uh, so what you want to do is you want to first you want to uh, mark your uh, balancer you want to mark it at 10 degrees and then also 20 degrees at advance uh, what, what I've done mine's marked at 10 but um, but actually mine's very easy to read all the numbers are real clear it's a brand new balancer uh, so um, anyway mine is set up at 20 degrees uh, the first thing you want to do whenever you adjust uh, set your timing is uh, you want to come up here to ignition settings in tuner studios the first option is uh, ignition options and then go to this option up here where it says uh, use table uh, right now it's going off of the ignition table you want to set it to fixed timing when you do that you want to hit burn And then the next thing you want to do is uh, do not don't don't remove this uh, this adapter here for the distributor. Leave that plugged in. You simply adjust it on the uh, tuner studios, and you're set. If you do need to make any adjustments, move it here. The distributor. Uh, I'll show you. So hopefully, you can read this. But it is uh, commanding 20 degrees right now to my uh, balancer. And uh, let's just double check here on my tuner studios. It's exactly what it's commanding there. Um, one thing you can do is rev up the engine. Obviously, I have one hand tied up. So anyway, uh, do that and make sure it's commanded still the 20. Uh, what I found is this part hardware latency. You can adjust that in case you lose some of the RPM where it starts to do some to retard. Um, but in this case, it doesn't need it. So I'll go ahead and now that I've confirmed that everything is set, I'll go into here, go to use table, and then uh, make sure you hit burn. And uh, you get confirmation that uh, you're, you're in your use table by uh, seeing this, uh, this here, it's moving around. Uh, the spark card advance, uh, in my case, I have it, uh, we can go back and check. Here we go. Uh, this is my timing, my base timing in this area, so you can clearly see that it is fluctuating. Um, that just confirms to us that we are now in ignition table. Um, that's about it. The main point to take away from here is that you do not need to remove the uh, the pin, that the PI, the PIP uh, adapter. You simply use the hardware, I mean the software on Tuner Studios to toggle it from use table to fixed timing, and just get it synchronized. And after that. Tuner Studio takes care of the rest based on the ignition table. So hopefully that helps. Uh, shoot me a message if you have any questions. Thanks a lot.